Welcome to Wisconsin Wonder Gardens. My name is Ripley Sartain. We're down in the seed starting laboratory and we're growing some cut and come again zinnias and some true lavender. So we're going to take a look at the progress that they've made in the past week and a half. So as you can tell, we have them planted in this seed starting tray and there's one half from here on that's doing very good. So this whole half, everything is growing in and doing fantastic. And then this whole half, wah, wah, wah. we don't have anything growing, but everything over here is. So, what I believe that is, is definitely these cut and come again zinnias are planted all right here. And these are doing awesome. They're doing really good. But for some reason, lavenders are not doing so good. Not at all. So why would that be? Well... A couple of things. I checked. Uh, the seedlings say emerge. Pretty simple. Just look at the directions here. The seedlings emerge in 14 to 28 days. And as I said, guys, this has been about a week and a half. So, what we're hoping for is that this whole side here, all of those, all of these little pods here, we're hoping that we're gonna see some sprouts here next week, which is a-okay with me. I was a little bit worried at first, but then I thought about it, I was like, oh wait, you know, lavender does have a little bit longer sprout time than these wild flowers or these zinnias do. Um, by the way, this is actually a uh, seeds of change, they call it the pollinator variety, so these are all very good for uh, pollinators in your, in your area definitely a must have on earth mother earth needs the pollinators so uh, just was looking down here and got really excited uh, seeing some nice growth a couple of them we have one two three four five six seven eight eight of them that didn't come in uh, but that's okay I mean typically you won't have a hundred percent growth anyway so I'll probably just pop a few more seeds in here and get them ready and growing anyway. So, um, like I said, guys, make sure you are planting those pollinator plants, getting them out there for the little buzzy creatures that fly all around your gardens. Stay tuned for an update on all this, as well as outside in the garden, because as you guys know, it is May. Spring madness is around the corner.